Welcome back to the Kings Park Tournament Expert Division qualifying round. Hole number three, option number two. This is a wind five option. And in my opinion, it will give you the best chance at dropping the albatross here. We're going to start with a rock eight plus. We're going to switch to an APOC four plus. And we're going to use a grizzly seven plus for the approach with that being said if you do play this with a grizzly seven or eight you will need to use at least a p4 side spin three win five ball all right so we're using p3 side spin three wind five apoc four will definitely need p4 side spin three win five or else you will not have I'm not sorry, not APOC 4, Grizzly 7 or 8, because your club lacks the distance and you will not be able to play this Grizzly shot without AP 4 ball. So for the drive, the adjustment is P3 plus 10% max. There is no push up here. We're using 3.8 top spin and 3 right spin. We're going to play this at, well, to start off, we're setting up at max extension, P3 max extension. We're going to have the blue ring touching the rough on the left. We're going to release it. We're going to switch to our APOC. APOC and Grizzly, right? Adjust P P3 10 max. No push up. Then we're going to play full overpower. It's full controlled overpower, and we're going to use right curl just so that the left side of your ball is touching the tip of the broken part of the shot circle on the bottom, like you see there. That is uh, what we're looking at. Left side of the ball touching that part of the shot circle, full controlled overpower, and you know, pull straight, hit perfect. If you hit this, your drive great left. You can still reach most of the time unless it's a bad great left. Uh, in which case, you can still get to the green very easily. I'm talking about for this approach shot uh, to play it this way. So e great lefts, great rights have been saved. Great lefts have been saved. The only thing that I've noticed is uh, with some great lefts, you're going to be setting up closer to your max Grizzly, and that's with an, a P3 ball and a Grizzly 9. So it could force you to have to play different spins or maybe even a little bit of OP, depending on how bad the great left is, because that, you know, that has us rolling out further away from the hole. So just something to remember. I have been able to, to shoot it with minor grades, but I don't know what uh, any... Other greats will do, and, you know, that will just depend on the rollout you get. If you have to, worst case scenario, you have plenty of room. Throw some backspin on your sniper, pop it up on the green, take your eagle, and run. For this approach shot, the elevation for the approach is P3 plus 5% at slider. So gonna start with 0.7 back and 0.5 left now i think i i only had 0.5 back on this one and i'm gonna have to change it but so starting with your base spin of 0.7 back and 0.5 left what i recommend is that you pull down and try to set what i'm looking for is to have my red ring Touching the touching the rough on the right and making sure that my ball guide is not in the tree. So if if we're any further to the left here, your ball guide clips the tree, it'll go away if that happens. What you want to do is you want to push it up. Try to keep your red ring bordering the rough. 
until the ball guy goes back to being long again. Make sure that tree is not in your way. You need to be just right of that tree and preferably red ring touching. Then we're going to re-spin it if needed until the ball guy turns and starts to trail down touching the line that is you know one square left of the hole or you know below the hole if you're looking at it from this direction so one square left with your ball guide and if you notice here i'm also looking at this part of the ball guide to be just below the line that is one line below the hole so those are my reference points you want it to look like this with the exception of you probably want the tail of that ball guide to be just a little bit shorter than this i have just a touch too much backspin on this and it comes in very very soft so if you can get you know the tail of your ball guide to finish somewhere in this area but along this line and then have the left side of the ball guide just below this line you should be in pretty good shape here but that is what we're looking for there from there we're going to pull this one straight if anything favor a slight 59 <coughs> no overpower no curl try to hit perfect hopefully you'll be walking away with the albatross right it's a good opportunity here does require a win five ball uh, for the most consistent approach and drive. But good opportunity nonetheless. Practice it a couple times. Make some minor tweaks if you need to. Beyond that, you should be good to go. We're going to be setting up in Grizzly plus yards. So Grizzly P3 plus yards are as follows. 9 is 100, 8, 98, 7 is 95, 6 is 93, 5 is 90, 488, 386, 283. Plus 1 is 81, 0 is 78, minus 1 is 76, minus 2 is 74, and minus 3 is 71% slider. If something happens and, you know, you're between clubs or you can't set it up properly, then don't risk it. Push your sniper up there or whatever wood club you have equipped. Throw some backspin on it, chunk it on the green, grab your safe eagle, and be happy. This is not necessarily an easy drop, and it's certainly not worth, you know, timing out or walking away with anything less than the eagle, right? So eagle albatross is what we're looking for. Anything less than that is no good. Good luck. I hope you all get the drop, and we'll see you on the next one. P3 5 plus 5 on the approach and 10 max on the drive.